Waterbox Live is about to begin. Listen, jam-packed show today, everybody. We're talking about the ACI aquaculture fish that we brought back to the 230. We're also talking about Reefa Palooza, New York, everybody. This weekend, we're getting fired up. Let's start the show. Live, our favorite day of the week, Jess. Wednesday is awesome. Yes, yes, so much going on. We're getting pumped up. We are leaving for New York tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to see mm. a lot of y'all at Rap this weekend. Yes, Very it's going to be awesome. So, so Reefa Palooza, New York City is right around the corner. But also, today's show, as I mentioned, we're going to, we picked up some fish yes. from ACI Aquaculture, uh, our visit that we did. Uh, last week. Yeah, so hopefully everyone caught it, but if you didn't, we actually went to ACI, mm -hmm. um, that's here in Florida, Plant City, and checked out his awesome facility, corals, fish, and we got to handpick out some beautiful, mm. beautiful stuff for Love our Love Dream that. 230. So yes. um, we got them back acclimated, and now let's get to show everyone what we picked out, because we didn't get to see that. Yeah, yeah, so we picked out so a lot of uh, nice wrasses, uh, a tang mm -hmm. I got in there. Um, that I personally liked. Yeah, so yeah. we're gonna show everybody that. There's actually the shot in the tank. The side shot of the T30. It's looking really good. The corals are doing great. The fish are just loving life in there. We've wanted to get wrasses in this tank for quite a while. So we finally, and you know, being able to hand pick them out and see them before we get them is really um, awesome. So we finally got our big old group of fairy wrasses in yes. here like we wanted. Yes, so. love that. So actually we have some slides that we wanna share with you guys of, of that just did. Yeah. <laughs> she created these slides <laughs> of, of the fish that we actually picked out yep. uh, and put into the tank. This way we can kind of go over a little bit about each one of them um, and then also in case they don't want to come out and see you, we get to kind of see what we got of to course. put in there. So. All right, let's, let's run through these slides. Ooh. Golden pintail fairy wrasse. So when we were at ACI, <laughs> we both, I think at the same yeah. time, were like, wow, what is this fish? Yeah. Um, and we just knew we had to get one. So this is a golden pintail. This is actually a pretty rare one, only becoming available in 2016 mm -hmm. in the trade. So wow. still really new and um, one of the more expensive but rare uh, fairy wrasses. But this thing is absolutely gorgeous. You know, lots of room to swim, yeah, rock yeah. work, that kind of deal. Real, I love the tail. It's and just it's, absolutely it's weird. It's, stunning. It's, it's, it's like... It just that's a cool fish. Pink, very, purple, very cool. yellow, all the colors. So. Okay. So what else you got going? This oh, one, um, Angulatus or Angulatus flasher wrasse. I've always known it as a Voro flasher wrasse, a um, more common name for it. And and flasher wrasses are a little bit smaller of a wrasse than the fairies. Um, super active and peaceful. Mm -hmm. Only getting to about three inches. Needs like a fifty gallon tank or bigger. So it doesn't need as big of room for that. But. Yeah. Um, they will actually flash different color and get more vibrant, like when okay. they see the reflection or another wrasse. Very interesting. Mm. I've seen I've seen a lot of this fish. This fish I've seen in a lot of fish stores. Yeah, it's not an uncommon one, but yeah. it's really pretty and it's easy. It's peaceful, has a lot of color to it. So we picked this one up um, just because it was a really pretty specimen to add to the fairy wrasses. Really, grasses, so. really nice. Ah. The Lubbock. Lub I call it the Lubbock. I call it Lubbocky. I don't know why I do, but I always have. Yeah. Um, but it is the multicolor <laughs> Lubbock fairy wrasse. And even though it's a fairy wrasse, it actually does stay pretty small, only a couple inches. Yeah. And comes in a lot of different colors depending on where it's collected. I've seen these either everywhere from like almost straight red yeah. to like yellow, blue, pink, and stuff. Yeah, so. now all these fish that we picked out, of course, are reef safe. Yes. So if you have a reef tank, any of these fish that you see right here, could be put into a tank with corals. Yeah, yeah, and then all your wrasses like these are peaceful, mm -hmm. um, and there are jumpers, so make sure you put a lid on. Yeah, yeah, got to get a get a net on the top. So this is one that you decided that we had to have. I did. You did. I have hope with this guy. So it's not, <laughs> yeah, it's not the most colorful yet. Um, and when you picked it up, I'm like, really? You sure you want that? And even Chris at AC, I said, yes, this is going to be a beautiful fish as it matures and get some color yeah. to it. Um, I think over time. 
he's going to kind of adapt to the. I just have a feeling that the coloration of that fish is going to get more brighter as. If as you yeah, get if you actually look up the Catherine Sperry wrasse um, and see some pictures of them more mature, mm -hmm. they actually are really really pretty, and um, they are actually one of the more rare ones. Hmm. So good eye. I good guess. eye. Good eye. There we go. Exquisite. Uh, ah, wrasse. That's nice. I yes. have to admit, that, that's. I think yeah. the exquisite, yeah, the exquisite is pretty cool. The one we picked out is uh, from the Maldives uh, region, and it's kind of crazy if you ever look it up, like the exquisite wrasses from Fiji to Africa to the different collection areas, they look almost completely different. Mm. So their color pattern is going to vary a lot depending on where they're from. Yeah, so there's a lot of wrasses. Uh, you get more. Uh, more. <laughs> now, this, this fish actually looks really good in the tank. I, yeah, or not. this one I think might be one of your favorites. Yeah, Keenan so. is, is, this is his he selection. Loves he loves this, this one. one. Um, and another unusual, not as common yeah. um, as your other ones. This does say smaller. And the you can't tell in this picture, and maybe we'll be able to catch it with ours, is yep. the big bottom fins and top mm. fins. When they put them down, they have these huge kind of like flowy fins. Um, really, but, really but the pretty. coloration is that that stark that They're yellow so stripe. so bold, yes. You really notice it when you look in the tank. You're like, bam! That fish really just pops. And this know. guy actually, because he's like right here, he's always at the front bottom, like yeah. staring at us. Yeah. So he's like really, really friendly. Um, That's a good one. Ah, got a mandarin. Of course, you got to get a mandarin. Go. Got to get a mandarin. Um, I'd say this is probably like the most well-known or recognized yeah. um, fish in the hobby, but it is also one of the more difficult. So um, easily the most beautiful fish you'll ever see, but have to have live copepods, amphipods in the tank. Mm -hmm. You know, it needs to be a big, large established system with live rock or refugium. Uh, yeah. They usually will not take frozen or prepared no. food. So yeah, it's, it's, it is, a, they consider it difficult. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But with a 230, that's plenty of room, plenty <laughs> of rock. We got just taking care of everything, so hey. <laughs> we're, we're not concerned in any way. No so, pressure. No, no pressure. pressure. All and right. here's the, the one. This is your baby. There you go. I picked out. I mean, I've been doing this a long time. I, I very rarely see this tang mm -hmm. available no, you know, no, in, yeah. in the trade. So as soon as I saw it, I went, Tell me more about this. I think this is, uh, and Chris said at ACI, he goes, this, is, this fish is very difficult to transport. Yeah, he said the shipping yeah. of it is very, yeah. very difficult. So you don't see a lot of them come in because A, they're hard to bring in, but uh, you know how well they do through the whole process mm -hmm. is not that good. So mm -hmm. with him having this one a couple weeks um, and being super healthy, yeah, he's eating really try, great. And you loved him right away. Yeah, I was so. like, oh man, this guy looks cool. So they do get big. They get big. I guess he could probably it end up being big. the biggest fish in the 230. Um, but he's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. So we definitely, I mean, that's awesome. But so that's there's a, nice that's a lot of a lot of fish that came in. Um, we need to probably switch to the other shot. Yep. Real quick. So and we're gonna then we're feed, gonna feed them? the tank, so you can actually check out some of these fish. Yeah. So we're gonna feed these fish so that you can actually hopefully we go. can get them out and going. See if we can get. Kind of get a nice cool view of all our fish coming out. I mean, we've got Antheus and the Midas. I mean, all of our beautiful fish in here. Wow. Look at all these fish in here, guys. You'll see we've got the tangs. This is the Pro 230.6 that you're looking at. And it's like a feeding frenzy. Feeding but frenzy. All the wrasses are coming out. So you can see them. I mean, all of our tangs. We have quite a few tangs in here. Mm -hmm. um, but everyone adjusted and got along really, really well. They're doing really good. We're you can see some of the wrasses some that come like up. This. You'll see the wrasses through there. Yeah, most uh, of them are making, they're swimming super fast eating, but you can kind of get a view You on get a that. glimpse of some of the inhabitants. Oh, there's that one with the yellow stripe on them. Yeah, it's kind of a, just a cool shot to see down the length of this tank since it's six foot. I know. All the corals and fish filled in nicely. It looks really, really good. I wonder if, can you see me through here? Hey! <laughs> Come on now, listen. <laughs> you gotta do that. You gotta have that shot in there. Yeah. The mandarin, I see the mandarin sticking out here in the middle. Oh, and there's my tang. Yeah. The mandarin are pretty cryptic as far as they're not gonna be like usually on the bow, but. Yeah, look um, at that, guys. I mean, that's, that is really an awesome shot. I yeah. mean, I love that. Pretty much everyone's come out to make their appearance and. Uh, yeah. Like I said, everyone adjusted in really, really nicely, so you never know. Sometimes it's pretty much we are at capacity, I would say, on livestock, fish. In yeah, this tank. no, I mean, I would say almost for this, it's fish and corals are pretty much just let everything grow and um, establish. Because a lot of these fish like the tangs. I mean, mm -hmm. we got a blue tang, we still have, we have that freckle, the wrasses are all going to get bigger. 
Yeah. Um, so letting them just kind of grow, and the corals, of course, will continue to grow. But really happy with the fish that we really picked out. Really happy with it. I mean, this tank it is doing... It completed the dream build. <laughs> it did. It really just kind of like, bam, just really put that extra little pizzazz. I love the movement in the tank. It got, yes. The wrasses, because they're so active, they're always out, added so much activity to mm -hmm. the tank. Um, so it's like when you look at it, there's just so much to see. And then all the corals moving around because we have a lot of flowy corals in there. Yeah. It's just the most beautiful. It's just a perfect tank. Listen, also the fish look phenomenal through the Starfire glass, everybody, hey! on the Watermark Aquarium. <laughs> Listen, when you, when you have such a beautiful fish, you want to make sure that there's no green, um, you know, tint to the glass. Yes. You want to make sure that, man, you see those colors exactly what they are. When you have that true Starfire glass, it's yep. like a floating block like you can't yeah, I awesome. mean the seam to seam silicone like it just is just does not take away from the look inside the aquarium at all yes. it's absolutely gorgeous yes so. so we got a lot of people here on the stream too is everyone loving the fish selection uh, Philippe uh, wants to know where is the clam actually the clams are in the other tank yeah, so the clams uh, are in the Frag 80 frag. Rock Nem clam yeah. tank so that one uh, yeah we have no clams in this tank no here. Um, we got uh, Jer Jeremiah's Rob says, bam. Bam. Um, Rob says, beautiful. Labaki. Yes. Uh, you got Emmanuel in here. Scott Crow's watching with us. Hey, what's up, Scott? We're going to see him this weekend. Yes. So let's go also talk about rap New York. So yes. people say, rap. What is what is rap? What are you rapping? <laughs> <laughs> we could do a rap. You know, I'm, I'm sure we could come up with one. I've but... always wanted to do a rap, a water box rap. But... <laughs> Reef Palooza is what it stands for. R A P. So Reef Palooza, New York. Yeah. Um, it's in Secaucus, New Jersey, um, at the Meadowlands, mm -hmm. um, and it's this weekend. So what happens is every hobbyist in from all over the Northeast yeah. just kind of people travel come for Reef Palooza. I mean, they will you know all the way from the Midwest, West Coast. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll have people coming from all over, and also the coral vendors and stuff come from yes. everywhere. Everywhere. Um, you know, Reef Bulls is the biggest event, so. Yeah, so it's, they, they really pull the people in. Um, it's also an opportunity for the event, for manufacturers to show new products. Mm -hmm. um, gets you a chance to see, uh, talk to those brands that you might be interested in. Yes. Um, you know, some people running specials and different stuff like that. Um, but the coral selection, uh, even like I saw like Living Reef Orlando's coming and they're bringing like some crazy rare fish. Yeah, That's, I've been, I've been seeing a lot of people like yeah. dropping pictures as little teasers of what they're bringing. So, I mean, yeah. you're going to see, you know, frags and coral vendors. Mm -hmm. You're going to have them bringing in fish. You're going to have inverts. Um, you know, then, like you said, you have the manufacturers of different products. You know, you yeah. can pick their brain, talk to them, see the new products. Um, you know, come see a water box. We'll have them Absolutely. in our booth. Yep. And we'll have other vendors with them, too. Um, so, you get, it's not just corals. It's Correct. like everything. And it's a really big event. Huge. 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 Tons of vendors, tons Huge. of space. They got raffles going on. Uh, um, and it's Saturday and Sunday. Yep, yeah, they have it's speakers. Yeah, it's a whole thing. They have, um, check out their website. They have a detail of like time to speakers and some big people in the industry that yeah. come to talk for research. So, uh, Waterbox Booth 212, Jessica Stewart says. Yeah. 212. Come and see Also, us. we got a lot of water boxes floating around in other booths. So, we got yes. vendors that are going to be. Um, showing their products in a water box because mm -hmm. um, they, they love... Uh, Quite a few larger models, too. So you're yeah. going to be able to see some big water box uh, on the floor there. Yeah. And we'll have two in our booth. You can come see... Yeah, we're bringing a pro, so you can check that out. Pro and a marine. Come on, man. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> boop, boop. So, um, also, we have a brand new series starting. Oh, snap. What? Oh, snap. The Q what? battle is over, everybody. But don't fear. And because, I won. Don't I? Just, you know, yeah, just know. won. But listen, <laughs> we, we got to continue with a whole new build, a whole new giveaway, an epic giveaway. I don't know if epic will really be a good enough word. I mean, stay tuned. But I don't even know if that is It's gonna be the proper word. It's massive. so, so major. Like, major. But major, uh, yeah, major. new build and series is going to have a, really a lot of fun with that one. Yes, and we're also... The uh, reason we're here in the lobby, a new studio is coming soon. Mm. Brand new television studio that we're going to debut on our 100th episode, which is quickly approaching. So I know. We, we had a, I miss our studio. It was real good. Yeah. I mean, we're taking our studio to, like, 
the top here. Oh, it yeah. is. <laughs> we have so like next couple weeks, man. Amazing. Unbelievable. So we, we got the new tuned. series, <laughs> new studio, giveaways, Reefa Palooza. There's so much going on, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to Waterbox Live. We will be with you on Friday, actually, from Reefa Palooza. We'll yes. go ahead and we'll do a hit quick the live in, quick live and kind of show you behind the scenes a little bit. But stay tuned with us, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you Friday. See ya.